After two semi-finals on Saturday, where they were set fair for the elite women's final in Tishu Ivaros on Sunday, been on the calendar now for 23 years, this event, always popular with the locals and athletes alike. 30 women set off from the pontoon on the three-lap 750-metre swim on the small lake inside the centre of Tishu Ivaros. The tight turns made for an exciting swim, but no one was really able to get away. Sophie Alden from Great Britain had won been of the pace setters in the semi-final, but she was caught up in a pack of several athletes as a large group set off on lap two. Non-wetsuit swim with the water temperature around 21 degrees on Sunday. It was Spain's Sarah Perez Sala that was first out of the water, but a large crowd followed her out, including home favourite Zanet Bregmeyer. Just a short run for transition, but all the athletes came out together. Kelly Ann Perkins was involved at the front. She was one of the pre-race favourites, along with Natalie Van Coeverden, the highest ranked woman in the field this week. Off onto the 20 kilometre bike, eight laps around the streets of Tishu of Aros. Fortunately, the roads had dried out from the morning when a heavy crash in the junior women's race put a blight on things. But on this flat course, the pace was quite high. The tight 180 degree turn was the trickiest part on the course and no one was taking any chances. It's round 10 on the ITU World Cup schedule and still plenty more races to come. But those who've chosen to come to Tishu of Aris looking to get themselves some vital ranking points. There was nothing to choose between virtually all the field as they rode together for the whole 20k. And it would be down to who had the run legs after they went through T2, but there was still work to do on the bike. Simone Ackerman from South Africa in that pack, but she left the race early after a crash with Italian Malats. Simone Ackerman was involved in that group, but she would end the race early after a crash with Biritz Melosi from Italy. Annabelle Noll from Germany got herself into a good position at the head of the field and a small group managed to break away towards the end. But once again, it was a big group that came into T2 and it would be down to who had the run legs over the five kilometre run. Four laps around the lake and the streets of this Hungarian town. It was Hungarian Zanet Bregmar that led them out of transition, closely followed by Australia's Emma Jeffcoat. The race taking part around the lake and around the streets in the vicinity of the transition zone. And it was a small group at Sud managed to forge a breakaway. Large crowds giving good encouragement from the side. It's been a week-long festival here in Tishu of Aros. Tri-week as it's known. Not just racing but also entertainment in the evenings as well. An event enjoyed by everybody from this northern Hungarian town. Once again it was a fairly largest lead group that led through most of the run and we were in for a thrilling finish. Heavy Australian representation in the lead group with Perkins, Jeffcoat and Vancouverden. But Bragmar managed to keep in pace as well. But at the end it came down to a sprint finish. Jeffcoat managed to have the pace at the end to cross the line first. Sarah Vilic coming through in second and Perkins just getting ahead of Casillas into third. You really won't wipe the smile off my face. Like to to have come away with the win here in Tizzy just blows my mind. I'm really happy. Yeah, I'm pretty determined when you give me a bit of a challenge. So when it came down to sprint finish, I've always just thought go for it and never look back. And it, it worked today. I just kept going right into that line and just gave it literally everything I had. And yeah, to take that tape is like literally so surreal.